Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to your channeled message reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyant. Thank you so very much for tuning in. I do hope you're all doing well. Let's get started on your reading here. Let's see what your message is. Channeled message reading. Please remember to take what resonates, leave what does not. Channeled message reading. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for guiding us. What is the message for someone out there? Also know that the, that the cards represent energies that any gender can embody. All right, main female, <clears throat> family room. Hmm, main female and then family room. Tell us more about this message. Tell us more about this message. Eight of Wands. The star. Justice paired with the Nine of Wands. Hmm. There's definitely a conversation about you going on. <laughs> it's like I can hear it. The Eight of Wands. Um, clarify the Eight of Wands. So main female. Sorry, I'm, I'm jumping. The main female card, it does represent um, the, the, the main female protagonist or co-protagonist of the story. Um, and then you have family room. So this could be pertaining to a family related matter. The family card could also represent something that's private and confidential. The family room is where, you know, those confidential conversations take place. Okay. Um, and lastly, the family room card could also simply just represent that something's coming towards you. Something is close in proximity to you. Okay, so the Eight of Wands, it is a communication card or it's a it's a fast paced energy. So it could be fast communication or fast action, but just know that it's something that is going to happen suddenly. And maybe it's even something that's right around the corner. Let's look at this Eight of Wands here. Let me see. You have the King of Swords. Clarify the Eight of Wands. Clarify the Eight of Wands. You have the King of Cups. Clarify the Eight of Wands. Ooh, there's definitely a conversation about you. Who's talking about you? <laughs> Is it two men who are talking about you? A King of Swords and a King of Cups? Holy Spirit, tell us about this. Is it two men? They, they feel really stressed and like they're something is they're tensed they're tensed about you king of swords king of cups tell us about this king of swords king of cups let me see here <clears throat> ace of pentacles is it pertaining to money it's a it's a ace of pentacles not ace of cups the cups are all about you know your personal feelings and emotions ace of pentacles though is more so about you know, maybe your success, rewards, valuable goods, money, things that are tangible, material, things that are earthly, okay? Um, so that's what the convert, they're, they're tense about something here. Ace of Pentacles, there's a conversation about you, the magician. I think there's something that they've been really wanting. You know, the Ace of Pentacles is a big deal. It, it's uh, on the channel, here on the channel, we call it the, um, the, the blessing of prosperity. It is a blessing of prosperity. It's a gift that's coming out of the helping hands of the Most High. It's not a Knight of Pentacles. It's not a Page of Pentacles. It's not a King or Queen of Pentacles. It's an ace. It's a blessing that's coming directly out of the helping hands of God. So it's big. It's big. It's, it's, it's extraordinarily valuable. I feel like these two men or these two masculine energies, please know when, when, when doing tarot or watching tarot, the cards represent energies that any gender can embody. Okay. And regardless of if you're a man or a woman, we all carry both masculine and feminine energies. 
Um, and there is a difference with these cards. Like the King of Cups is different from the Queen of Cups in energy. It's not just, oh, one, it's a, one is a man and one is a woman. No, there is a difference. Same with the King of Swords. King of Swords is, is different from the Queen of Swords. There are differences. It's not just about man or woman. Um, but they want this Ace of Pentacles. There are two masculine energies here that want this Ace of Pentacles so badly. So, so badly. They almost feel kind of, is it like, it's something that other people are competing for, this Ace of Pentacles. These two masculine energies, they have been in this magician where they have been like manifesting using their willpower. When you see the magician, know that, I mean, the magician has the sword, the pentacle, the cup, and the wand. These two masculine energies have been working overtime to get this ace of pentacles. Who are these who are these two masculine energies? This king of king of swords, king of cups. What was that? Judication. Are they attorneys? Expectation. I feel like they want to meet up with you. I feel like they want to talk to you. King of Swords, King of Cups. Let me shuffle better. King of Swords. Who are, who, who are these people? Holy Spirit. King of Swords, Pathway. They want to talk to you. King of Swords, King of Cups. They want to talk to you. You know why? You know why? Because you're the one who's getting this Ace of Pentacles. You're getting something that other people desperately want. You're getting an Ace of Pentacles, not a Knight of Pentacles, not a Page of Pentacles, not a King of Pentacles. Not this is a this is the kind of blessing of prosperity that will transform your entire life. Like your children's children will benefit from this. Ooh, I'm so excited for you. I love getting good, good messages like this because some of my messages are deep, <laughs> deep and heavy. So when I get positive messages like this, it just makes me so happy. But there are two masculine energies here. King of Swords, King of Cups. Okay. And they realize that you're the one who's going to get this Ace of Pentacles and not them. Or maybe something's clicking in their head that, oh my gosh, she's the chosen one. She's the one who's going to get this. I don't, this could be, like I said, family room. This could be a family matter. Absolutely. It, absolutely, 100%. It could be a family matter. Um, or it could be something, if it's not a family matter, then it could be something that's just very private and confidential. But there are two masculine energies who are having this light bulb moment that the position, yeah, it's their, it's like they woke up to their worst nightmare. They're realizing, I feel like these two were actually competing with each other. I feel like these two thought that they were, they were the runners up. Like these two thought that it would either be them, it would either be one of them who would get this Ace of Pentacles. But now they're they're realizing that there's a third person and it's you. Uh oh. Yeah. They're they're realizing that there's a third person. Maybe one of them is a is an air sign and the other is a water sign. Okay? But they're realizing that they've been competing with each other. It's like competing, two people competing, and then realizing that there's a third candidate who may get this Ace of Pentacles. They're in this Nine of Swords. They are, these, these, <laughs> these two masculine energies are a handful. They're acting like it's the end of the world. When they discovered you, when they found out about you, Nine of Swords is someone who's having sleepless nights because they have been itching to receive this Ace of Pentacles. They're showing up as the magician. They've been using all elements to get this Ace of Pentacles. They've been using the sword, 
They've been using the pentacle. They've been using the cup, the wand. I mean, they've been a real magician trying to manifest this ace of pentacles. They want to be chosen for this ace of pentacles. But they're realizing... <laughs> They're like, wait a second, it's not just us two, there's a third person. Expectation, pathway, and high honor. The pathway has been illuminated for you and you only. The pathway is open for you and you only. Expectation. That's what you need to expect. Expect some sort of path that will lead you, some sort of pathway, look, high honor. High honor. You're the chosen one. The high honor card represents a promotion, elevation. That's why they're realizing it, it's finally hit them. <laughs> it's finally hit them that... This whole time, they were competing and fighting amongst each other for no reason. And I feel like you're not even anywhere close to these people. Maybe that's a good thing that you're separated from them. What can we know about this King of Swords and King of Cups? Thank you, Holy Spirit. What can we know about this King of Swords and King of Cups? Everything is fine. These two masculine energies do not have the power, neither the authority to harm you in any way, shape, or form. What can we know about the King of Swords and King of Cups? The Fool card is here. I feel like they want to make amends with you. They stabbed you in the back so many times, not knowing that you are the chosen one in the spirit and in the flesh. Because for many of you guys, your spiritual blessings are manifesting into the physical realm as a job, job promotion, money, valuable opportunities, um, large purchases, like your blessings are manifesting into the physical realm in a way where you can now see it, feel it, and touch it. In the past, you had to walk by faith and not by sight. But very soon, you will, you will have sight of your blessing. You will be able to see it. You will get all the confirmation. And it's because you were willing to have faith and trust even without seeing it. These two men want to talk to you. Everything is fine. Nine of Swords. Like, <laughs> I definitely feel like they were doing things that, you know, could have sabotaged you, but it didn't. And it's almost like, it's like stabbing someone in the back and then, and then rubbing their back and saying, hey, it's okay. It's okay. Everything's fine. We weren't, we're not against you anymore. They want to take a leap of faith into a new beginning. I feel like they're very anxious to get to know you. If these people don't know you or maybe they weren't fond of you, now they want a new beginning with you. Okay, look, four of wands, they want redemption with you. Because you're in the position that they want to be in. I would be very careful. I wouldn't get too up close and personal with them. But you know, you know better, you're wise. Let's look at the let's look at the star card. Let's look at the star card. Let's look at the star card. Wish fulfillment. Let's look at the star card. Seven of swords. Let's look at the star card. The Empress. Wow. Wow. <laughs> You're getting everything. You're getting everything you've always wanted. The stars wish fulfillment. It's it's your prayers being heard and answered. It's your wishes being granted. It's a card of hope and faith. 
And sometimes it could even represent healing. The, the Three of Cups represents celebrations. Oh my gosh. Look at the Seven of Swords and the Empress. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Clarify the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is, is a sneaky card. It could be someone lying, cheating, manipulating. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Six of Wands. Moving things from rough waters to calmer waters. I feel like you had a lot of snakes around you, but somehow you were able to, there's something that's a little bit sneaky about you too, but not in a bad way, okay? The Seven of Swords, it could represent someone who's like lying, cheating, manipulating, you know, being scandalous and sabotaging, but I don't feel, I feel like you were able to, as the enemy, the enemy was setting traps for you, but you kept on dodging it. And you, lo you know a lot more than the enemy knows. You know more than the enemy knows. Like there's something where I feel like you tend to have people underestimate you a lot, not knowing what you're capable of. So when they try to put obstacles in your way, you overcome those obstacles with such great ease. And I feel like it's because you have the helping hands of the Most High guiding you and protecting you. There's something about you. There's something, there's a reason why you're showing up as the Seven of Swords, but I don't feel like it's in a bad way. I just feel like you're very wise, you're very experienced, you're very knowledgeable. So it's almost like I see the enemy setting traps for you, but then you are familiar with what those traps are, probably because you've had so many people betray you in the past. It's like someone laying out traps for you and then you know, so you just pick up the traps and you move it out of the way. And the whole time they're thinking, mm -hmm, he or she's going to fall in that trap. <laughs> Look at how this woman's carrying the swords. It's kind of like these are the swords that they try to stab in your back. But you're fine. You pulled out those swords. But they don't know that. There's something about you where it's like you just keep on getting more and more wise. You're showing up as the empress because you're in a fertile state. You're in a fertile and fruitful state. The empress gives birth to creations. You've been carrying, almost like when a woman carries a child, you've been carrying this, this, this creation, this idea. You've been carrying this wish, this prayer for a long time. And now you're about to give birth to it. As in, now you're about to see it manifest. You're about to see it come, into, uh, come to fruition in, the, in real life. It's like you're giving birth to what you've been wanting. That's why you're in the Empress energy. Then you have the Six of Swords that's here. And the Empress also represents someone who's very abundant. Ab abundant. You're here as a Six of Swords, moving things from rough waters to calmer waters. Wow. Tell us more about the star. The lovers. Tell us more about the star. The nine of cups. You're getting everything you've always wanted. This was destined for you. This was written in the stars. You're coming into alignment with, with what is rightfully yours. Then you have the nine of cups, fulfillment, satisfaction. Wow. I feel like you were overlooked and maybe that was a blessing in disguise. It's almost like you were hidden in plain sight because these some some of these people who were against you, they didn't know who you were. They didn't know. That's why these two masculine energies are quite shocked because they thought that they were the first runner runner up. Like they thought that it was just between the two of them who would get this ace of pentacles. And maybe it's a good thing that you were overlooked because if they would have known that you are the chosen one, they probably would have targeted you. Maybe that's why you're showing up as the seven of swords. You got away with a lot. You got away with, you, you got away with a lot of um, um, something that would have been like, you, 
you would have been targeted in some way, shape, or form if people knew that you were the one to receive this Ace of Pentacles. So it's okay that they overlooked you. It's okay that they underestimated you. It's okay that they, they didn't treat you, treat you with priority. It's okay. It's like God hid you for a reason. It's okay if they didn't if they didn't take you seriously. It's okay if they didn't believe you or believe in you. It's okay. These people are not important where you want you want their acceptance or you want validation. As long as God chooses you, that's all that matters. As long as God believes in you, that's all that matters. Whatever these people thought about you, it is a non it, it is a non-factor. It is not significant to your story. They are not of importance. So they can think what they want, do what they want. They're not important to your story. Your blessing still stands without them. But I feel like God hid you. He, he sort of concealed you for your protection, which is why you're showing up as the seven of swords. You were the one that was overlooked. There was an oversight on you. And that's all right because you didn't need to be the center of attention among snakes. They all would have targeted you. Yeah, they all would have targeted you. And I feel like you just, you, you bloomed into the Empress. You were transformed. I feel like you've learned a lot during this season of your life. So much lessons, so many lessons and experiences. And now you are the Empress, the most powerful most powerful woman in the deck, the most powerful feminine energy in the deck. Everybody wants to be the empress and emperor, but you got to do immense work on yourself in order for you to carry that true divine feminine, divine masculine energy. And that energy cannot be copied nor, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> that energy cannot be copied nor imitated. And it is, it is such an authentic energy that when you carry that divine feminine or divine masculine energy, people know it. The Empress is beautiful inside and out, powerful, nurturing, mature, stable, well-balanced. The Empress is so balanced within herself that she's able to take care of others. So it's almost like you were in, you were, you were in a cocoon. And as you were in that cocoon, and you know when, like, uh, what is it, metamorphosis, when that caterpillar goes into that cocoon, it is its most sensitive period. The divine was preparing you and didn't want any interruptions, didn't want anyone to interrupt you. So he, 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 he did something here where you would be, where there would be an oversight on you. The Holy Spirit is saying oversight, where, where, where they would overlook you so that you can be left alone to transform. And once you transform like a caterpillar in that cocoon, it goes through metamorphosis. And when it transforms successfully, it blossoms. It transforms into a butterfly. The divine wanted your transformation to go uninterrupted. So that's why there was an oversight. That's why you were hidden. That's why they couldn't see you. That's why you had some people underestimating you, undermining you. That's okay. Because sometimes when people know, that's when they start plotting against you. But when they don't know, they'll leave you alone. Sometimes you don't need to be seen by everyone, especially the wrong people. You, you, you don't want to be seen by the wrong people. And I've said this a while ago on the channel. I used to say it all the time. When you are so valuable... Only those who God has blessed with the sight can see you. In order for people to see you, recognize who you are, God has to first bless them with the sight to see you. So if somebody doesn't see you, recognize you, or know your value, God has not given, given them that sight to see you. And it's for a reason. They were not chosen by him to be your partner in any way, shape, or form. Those who God has chosen to surround you, to work with you, to partner up with you, to love you, to befriend you, they all have the sight to see you. So whenever you encounter a situation or a person who is undermining you, underestimating you, is because they were not chosen for you. Therefore, they don't have the sight to see your value. It is for your protection. You don't need to be seen or recognized by everyone. Because for some 
wicked spirited people, the more they know, the more they can plot against you. Right? So let them not even think that you're important. That's okay so that they can leave you alone. And you were able to transform so beautifully. It's like nobody could see the chosen one. And that was for a reason. And now you get to move forward with the six of swords, right? Now you've, you, you, you've transformed, you've gone through that, that metamorphosis, you're, you're coming out of the cocoon and you're spreading your wings to fly. The lovers. You're coming into alignment with your soul's purpose is what the lovers is saying. You're coming into alignment with the things that are written in the stars that are destined for you. You're coming into union with what is rightfully yours. And you're going to be beyond happy. The nine of cups, the happiness, the fulfillment. Can you imagine one person carrying nine out of 10 cups that is the kind of happiness that is overwhelming, but in a good way. And speaking of metamorphosis and transformations, look what's on the back of the deck. This is the confirmation that we need, the death card. The death card represents major endings that lead us to our transformation. Death. <laughs> wow. Let's look at the justice card. Power font. Two of Cups. The Justice card represents justice, <laughs> karmic justice. It simply represents getting what you deserve. God is positioning you. God is placing you in your rightful position, in your rightful role, duties, and obligations that he worked so hard on you. I mean, you went through such great uh, character development. And that's why a lot of people don't understand. You know, you can pray for something, but I hope that you you are also willing to be prepared for the blessing. God will never give you a blessing unprepared. So when you pray for something, just know that preparation is needed first before receiving the blessing. You're going to be positioned um, in a place of power and influence. You're showing up as the Hierophant. Yeah. You're showing up as the Hierophant. The Hierophant represents... Uh, someone who's very powerful, influential. The higher fonts are the people who lead, they guide, they teach, they inspire people. They touch the lives of the masses. And you did the work. No one can dim your light. You did the work. The Two of Cups. The Two of Cups represents a partnership. This is Two of Cups here. I feel like you have so many messages. King of Pentacles. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> is this love or what? Two of Cups. What is this about? Two of Cups. It's a partnership, two of cups. A tower. What happened here? You're coming together. The two of cups is a soul union, soulmates uniting. You're going to be coming together with a king of pentacles, a strong earth sign, if this is your reading. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And the two of you are going to establish a ten of pentacles. You guys will build a legacy with each other. 
You guys will um, establish a business empire, generational wealth, lump sums of money. That's what the Ten of Pentacles is. It's all about longevity, your long-term security and stability. You're going to be living the most ideal and successful life with this person. And then you have the tower. You're going to, you might meet this person out of nowhere. Let me see, what's this tower about? The tower could represent dramatic endings. Do you have to leave someone behind before you can meet this king of pentacles? Let me see, why is the tower here? It could also represent a major reveal. Something's going to be shocking. You're going to find out something. Yeah, you're going to have to leave someone behind. You're going to have to leave a king of wands behind. You, you, you will only meet this king of pentacles, which is truly your ideal person, once you end the connection with this king of wands. Okay, who could be a fire sign? Um... Aries, um, oh boy, Aries, uh, Sagittarius, and Leo. Um, or maybe this person, regardless of zodiac signs, maybe this person is just very fiery, passionate, ambitious, but times were rough. Something was, was rough with this King of Wands. And, you know, King of Wands tends to be, like, attractive and fun and adventurous, but... I noticed when someone, when people are in a relationship with the King of Wands, it could either be really, really good or really, really bad. There's either a high or a low. There's no in between. I feel like with the tower here, there's going to be a dramatic ending with this King of Wands. The High Priestess is here. Let me see. The High Priestess. of swords you see the truth about this you see the the truth about this this past life soulmate i feel like this person presented themselves to be your prince charming i feel like there's something that's very very attractive about them it's like they they took your breath away this person may even be very like sexy confident bold you know um, but you can see right through them, which is why you're here as the high priestess. You're no longer captivated by their physical beauty. You're able to see the spirit that they carry. This person could be full of trouble is what I'm trying to say. I feel like they're attractive on the outside, but not on the inside. I feel like this person is not very grounded either. I feel like they're not very grounded. They're not very stable. They're fun, they're adventurous, they're good looking, they're sexy, but that's about it. Um, and you can see that with the Two of Swords. Two of Swords represents calling a truce. In the past, you had a hard time making a decision about this person because they appeared to be everything you wanted physically, superficially, but not spiritually. Now you're going to be making a decision because you're no longer looking at this person with just your two eyes. You're also using discernment. And that's why with the tower here, there's going to be an ending. And that's when you will be led to a king of pentacles, someone who's very successful, level-headed, extremely well-grounded, successful too. Look, the, man, this person's like some sort of moneymaker. <laughs> this person, look, look at all the yellows. King of Pentacles, they may have some sort of, I don't know what they do for a living. Typically, the King of Pentacles is some sort of business owner, entrepreneur, investor, whatever they do. They don't have to be those three. Whatever they do for a living, though, they do it very well. They're very successful and they make a lot of money. He's sitting on a golden throne, for goodness sakes. And then he comes with a Ten of Pentacles. This man either comes from a wealthy family or he owns a business empire. And look, Eight of Pentacles work. When you see him working, just know he's making money. <laughs> There's something, and I feel like this man is a true provider. King of Pentacles tends to be very traditional. And I feel like he's going to love the crap out of you. Let's look at the Four of Swords. He's in distress about something. What is he in distress about? 
What is he in distress about? Clarify the Four of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, and the Moon. What is the Moon here for? The Devil. Why is the Moon here? He's worried about something. Oops. Queen of Wands. He's worried about you. Has this man already seen you? Does this man already know you? This man already knows you? Or did he see you? Look at this, five of swords. He knows that something didn't work out for you. He knows that something between you and this king of wands didn't work out. I don't know if he has already crossed paths with you or if this man is spiritual. But I feel like he's very worried about you. The sun. Illumination. Awakening. He comes with the sun. I feel like yellow represents this man. Like something about yellow. He keeps on showing up like with, with a lot of yellow. Success is all over this man. This is the kind of person where everything they touch turns to gold. But I feel like maybe there's even a child that may, the sun could represent the birth of a child. Look at this beautiful girl, beautiful baby girl. Um, This, I'm trying to see if this man knows you, whether physically or spiritually. There's something here. He's so worried about you. Let me see. He's worried about you. He knows that you've been on that, you've, you've been on that battlefield. Eight of Cups. He knows you've been on that battlefield and he's waiting for you to close that chapter. He knows that you made investments, whether you, whether you invested your time, your love, your energy in a situation that wasn't good. It's like, I feel him spiritually encouraging you, supporting you, motivating you to, to just leave that situation. He feels like you got deceived. He cannot believe what happened to you. <gasps> Look, this man knows your situation. Whether he knows about it physically or he's just spiritually gifted and you guys haven't even met yet, but he knows your circumstance. There's something about you. It's like he knows that you got caught up in the wrong hands. Like this six of wands, I feel represents the king of wands. This king of wands is just bogus. I feel like this king of wands puts on a front. He's not very, he lacks depth. He's all about the superficial. He's all about what you can see on the surface. He's very, very, he's very surface level. There's no depth to this man. And he may come off as impressive at first, but if you, you look behind him and you dig a bit deeper and you and you, you use discernment, you'll realize that he's actually a counterfeit of what he says he really is. This king of pentacles is the real, is the authentic. This king of pentacles knows something. This king of wands is all about, a. he puts on this big show with the six of wands. He likes attention. 
He likes recognition. He likes fame. He's obnoxious. He knows about you in some way. He knows about you. Look, three of swords. I feel like he feels so bad about what you went through. But you know, it's all a part of your journey. I feel like after encountering this King of Wands, you're going to be much more grateful for this King of Pentacles. You're going to really recognize the King of Pentacles qualities because all of his qualities, the King of Wands lacked. These two men or masculine energies are drastically different. Drastically different. You know, it's like being with, with, <laughs> sometimes you have to encounter the counterfeit so that when you meet the, the real, the authentic, you'll know it. You'll know it. You'll recognize it and you'll value the real. That's the situation that I see going on here. Wow, I'm stunned. You had to encounter the counterfeit. And I feel like that was a test for you as well. That was a test for you. I'm sure this King of Wands is a soulmate. We will encounter many soulmates in, in this lifetime, by the way. Many. And most of them are past life soulmates. But it doesn't mean that they are the one. And the one that you choose says a lot about your growth and development. It says a lot, the, the soulmate that you choose says a lot about your evolution, your enlightenment. But this king of pentacles empathizes with you on such a deep level. I feel like it hurts him knowing, like he just knows that you, you were in the wrong hands. You were being in this king of wands hands, you're in the wrong hands. And he feels really bad with the three of swords. Because he knows that you weren't taken care of. Five of Pentacles. He knows that you were neglected and abandoned. He knows that... What is this? Like Four of Swords. He's carrying a lot of nervousness and, anxi and anxieties. He's worried about you. Seven of Cups. He's wondering, thinking about you. Because he found out that you, with the Page of Pentacles, did you, Page of Pentacles is like good news when it comes to earthly things. So sometimes Page of Pentacles could be like someone making a financial offer or was there a financial offer extended to you or what, it, what happened here? Did you, how did you, you met this King of Wands because of something, did you buy something? Did you make a purchase? And that's what led you into the lion's den, this king of wands. Some sort of offer that you took, some sort of financial offer that you took or a financial offer that you made led you to this king of wands. But look, there's deception. Oops, sorry. The moon. There is deception. The moon represents things that are hidden. Yeah, things that are hidden. Then you have the Queen of Wands. He knows. He knows you 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 went into the lion's den. King and Queen of Wands. You guys are matching. He knows. But you're gonna be in better hands with this King of Pentacles. Wow. He's such a, he's very sensitive when it comes to you. 
this man is highly intuitive. Like, like he can feel when you're worrying. He can feel your concerns. He can feel your anxieties. He knows where your mind is at. And he's there in the spirit supporting you. Look, temperance. You guys are like two in one. This, this, this king of pentacles is literally your, like your, your other half. Your other half, not your better half, your other half. The temperance is peace. It's harmony. It's alignment. And then look, the sun. This, this man is like your, tw like, not twin as in that toxic twin flame stuff, no. But it's almost like the two of you are two in one. Like, he's the male version of you in a good way. He is your equal half. He is your other half. No one is better than anyone here. No one is good or bad or good or evil or light versus dark. The both of you are equally yoked. And I feel like there's something about him that is so handsome. I feel like this man is very there's something i don't know if he if he like his hair color if he has light hair color but i don't feel like it's super dark if this is your reading i feel like he's ready for you look four of pentacles i feel like he's ready for you to oh my gosh <laughs> Oh my gosh, I feel like he's ready for you to come forward. It's like he's saying, come to me. He knows that you're making plans with the two of wands. I don't know how he knows this. I don't know if he's able to physically contact you or if this is also spiritual. But he's saying, come to me. He knows that with the two of wands, you're carrying out a plan. You're trying to get a sense of direction. And look at the ace of swords, the truth and clarity. He knows who you are. He knows who you are. The Ace of Swords is a big yes card. It also represents the truth and clarity. I feel like he's just waiting on you to, to communicate, to say yes. Physically or, oh my gosh. Don't, oh, I can feel the love and it's making me smile from ear to ear. Like, this is beautiful. This is what you call true Genuine love. The Queen of Cups. I feel like at this point, this man is like pulling you in energetically. The Queen of Cups. He knows who you are and you know who he is. This man has everything for you. When you meet him, he's already established. He's already been prepared for you. He's just waiting. There's something that you've been planning to do and he's, he's just waiting for you to say yes. The Queen of Cups, the sweetheart of the deck, the woman who captured his heart. There's something about you that's very sweet, warm. People tend to be very comfortable around you. Just have a good spirit. Queen of Cups. Wow. He also knows that you're very successful with the Nine of Pentacles. You've done very well for yourself. You're well, you're well accomplished. He knows, he knows some things about you. <laughs> he knows some things. I'm so in awe of this man. The Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, he knows that you've done very well for yourself. 
He's, he's quite impressed by you. He knows that you have a lot of luck, favor. He's so interested in you, Nine of Cups. He's so interested in you. He wants to get to actually know you on a deeper level. Eight of Swords is here. He's been thinking about you. He's been, he's so consumed by you. He's, he's Eight of Swords, like a mental prison over you. Man, this just made my day. I feel like you've been through so much. It's only right. It's only right. Tell us more. The hermit. That's this hermit here. I feel like he knows you. I feel like he knows you, whether physically, spiritually, or both. The hermit is like someone who, I don't know if he, he kind of researched you, look into you with the hermit, because it represents reflecting, making discoveries. And then look, page of swords. He received your information. The page of swords is here. Page of swords is curiosity or gathering information or, or communication from a distance. I think he saw you from a distance or through the internet or your profile or some like there's something here, the hermit, the page of swords. Or your email, like, like, did you wait, did you make a, um, what is it? Did you submit a request somewhere? Like, did you, did you fill out an application somewhere or something like that? You submitted something through the internet. And yeah, you, you submitted something. Look at the world. You submitted something through the internet. The world. Ten of Wands. You submitted something. This is so cute. I'm a fan. I'm a fan already of this love. I'm a big fan of judgment. You made an inquiry. I don't know if you called, like, did you call someone or submit something online? You made an inquiry about something and that's how he, that's how he saw you or found out about you. But, but but during that time, you still had a chapter to complete with this King of Wands. You still had a chapter. That's why the world is a successful completion and, a, and the Ten of Wands. You've already completed it now, but back then you hadn't. So Ten of Wands, burden, stress, and then look, judgment, a final decision. You've completed this chapter with this King of Wands currently now, but back then you hadn't. So he just had to wait patiently for you. Wow. I'm going to go ahead and end the reading, okay? <laughs> Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I really hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope you resonated with it. Um, if you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. And if you're interested in connecting with me more, definitely check out uh, the description box, all of my information will be there. Take care, everyone, and many blessings to you.